follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Broadcasting live worldwide. On June 16th, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. Well, folks, dreams do come true. This is Have Faith, Let It Begin, and this is our first episode. A weekly show all about faith. Every day, we're going to battle storms. We're going to face challenges. But we have to remember that we're not going to do it alone. We have to have faith. A show with motivational topics. As you go into work today, don't allow anyone to steal your joy. Lift your head up high and know that God is with you. Inspirational stories and personal testimony set out to change the world. My wife and I are expecting our first child. I'm going to be a father. (laughs) Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Broadcasting live worldwide. Good morning. My name is Angel Santana, and I'm the host of Have Faith, Let It Begin. One of the hardest things about having a podcast or having to go on the air um, weekdays or uh, throughout the year is that you have to be that person that has to talk about something that's so tragic, so sad. Yesterday afternoon, as we all know, uh, Eastern Standard Time, we were given word all over the TV and television new bro- news broadcasts that uh, at around 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific Time, we lost a legend in basketball, Kobe Bryant. And eight others perished in that helicopter crash, including um, Kobe Bryant's second oldest daughter, 13-year-old Gia. Today, I didn't feel comfortable having an episode um, without giving um, prayers to the family, friends, and all those that have touched have been touched by Kobe Bryant's ability to be a professional, a humanitarian, and just an overall great individual. So this morning, I'd like to leave you with a prayer. Heavenly Father, on this day, we will mourn and also celebrate the life of a legend as he and eight others, including his daughter, enter the gates of heaven. May the trumpet sound. May the courts of basketball allow him the ability to play in your kingdom. May he allow him to be with his daughter and allow her to play as well. To all those that are on that helicopter, we also pray for their families and their friends. We ask you, Lord, now for comfort, for healing. We ask you, Lord, now for guidance and wisdom, as many people today are sad. Lord, we know that things can't be explained. They're not predicted. And I've said it many times, tomorrow's not promised. I hope and pray that those individuals out there that listen to the show or anyone else out there knows that take an extra few seconds, a few minutes to say to that person, you love them, to let them know that you're here for them. And to always remember that love is the most important thing. And it's a very powerful thing to say to somebody that you'll miss them, you'll love them, because you never know what could happen next. We pray 
for those that have asked for prayer as well, we pray for Tony, for Robin. We pray for the safety of so many individuals all over the world with this new virus that is spreading rapidly. We pray for ministry, churches, first responders, military personnel, police, EMS. We pray for families, brothers, sisters, grandparents, mothers and fathers. We pray for Barbara and healing. We pray for Ruthie for healing. We pray for those battling all types of diseases and cancer. We ask you, Lord, to be with the sick. We ask you to be with the wounded. We ask you, Lord, now more than ever to guidance, to guide us and to put your healing hands upon all of us so that we can feel on the shoulders that you are here with us today and every day. We ask this of you in your precious name, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We pray for those that are dealing with work. We pray for Brian. We pray for Monsa. We pray for Yesenia. We pray for Jenny. We pray for Matt. We continue to lift up in prayer all those that have not been mentioned, but those that want to be prayed for, but maybe don't want to be spoken to. And we just ask this of you in your precious name. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. See you all tomorrow, everybody. Long live the legend of NBA. One of the legends, of course, Kobe Bryant. Have faith. Let it begin. We end today the way we, we started it. Thank you. on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Broadcasting live worldwide. 